lacrosse television. For commentator Leif Elsmo and Leif, you talk about offense in college lacrosse, you have to begin with Syracuse. Well, Tom, Syracuse says we play the game the way it should be played, and they certainly do. Wide open, a lot of transition, a lot of shots, and that's led by a dynamic quadrant of four players and the two you really have to focus on that revolutionized the game the last two years are the Gate brothers, Gary and Paul. You put Petromala on one, the other's going to be O Petromala in company with goaltender Quint Kessenick. If those two play at the top of their game, they're going to need three other guys to cover the full roster that Syracuse has, but those two guys, no question about it, critical that they have the best game of this year. Revenge could be on the mind of the Orangemen today. Their only loss of the year, the season opener by one goal at Johns Hopkins. What will happen today in College Park? We'll be back to find out in a moment. You might wonder why we call the Hopkins Blue Jays and the Orangemen of Syracuse the powers of the 80s. Here's a graphic reason why. Look at the way they've dominated the championship here in this decade of the 1980s. The goaltenders, Quint Kessner, first team All-American for the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays, a save percentage of over 65%, and he was excellent against North Carolina in the semifinal game for Johns Hopkins. We look at Roy Simmons. He's ready to face off against Don Zimmerman. There is just a portion of the sun-spangled crowd we have here today at Bird Stadium. Very well attended this tournament. They set a record in the semifinal round of over 20,200. And I guess we're at or maybe a little bit above that by the time they all come through the turnstiles today at Bird Stadium in College Park, Maryland. Tom, look at this face-off in the wide shot. Syracuse may be the only team in the country to use their normal midfielders. The Gate Brothers are on the wings. That's thinking all offense. Everybody else uses a long sticks pole, and Hopkins is no exception. The face-off between Pratt and Resin Pollock, and it's controlled by Kurt Pratt of Syracuse, and here come the Orangemen. Pratt hustling into the Hopkins zone. You see the matchup right away. Petromala is taking Gary Gate. I feel Paul Gate, this will open the door for him to have a big day today. And Paul Gate wanted to take the shot, can't get away. Now he does the score! Just 19 seconds into this lacrosse match, Paul Gate. Nothing Syracuse. All right, two guys of star quality on one midfield. This happens. Gary Gate being occupied by Petromala. Double team against his brother, Paul. And Paul comes in, beats two players, shoots right. They said he doesn't have a right hand. One there, and he beats the first team All-America. Watch this. Two he beats and then shoots right, which is almost unheard of. They say he's all left. He's all left. Great opening move by Paul Gate. And the other man was bothering Gate to bother him from taking that shot with Volker, but Gate, John Hopkins fans wanted it, but Syracuse comes up with a ground ball. They could have gotten it too, but the referee didn't think so. Nice hustling play by Syracuse, and Hopkins would have moved the ball quicker, they would have had a good shot. McCabe recovered it for Syracuse, and a dangerous play near the crease area, but Kessinick recovers the loose ball. And you have a look at the Canadian connection, and boy, they put up some numbers this season, or what? Wait, I feel. And Dumpson, Rodney Dumpson, the other member of that attack a quick shot, but Kessinick was equal to it. Your number one, uh, Division One All-America right there. Kessinick is sensational. Here's Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson for the home run trainer. Todd, it's everything you need to practice on your own. Hey, I think I've got it. The home run trainer will bring your batting average up to who knows how much. It's durable, practical, and sets up anywhere. It's better than a batting tee. Hey, I think I've got it. And you should get it too. The home run trainer, just $19.95 plus. Ball players of all ages will benefit from the home run trainer. I wish I'd have had one. Home run trainer, just $19.95. At the action, it's down the ball for John Tompkins. Coming right back at a commercial, Matt Panetta ties this game up at one. He came from behind the net. Tom, no surprise here. This is what Panetta, six feet, 195. He's the leader. He's the guy to go to. And that was the second time that. The great Panetta got the ball. He came right in, made his classic move, spun, and got a good shot against Palem. 1-1. 10-38 left to play here in the first quarter. Derek has scored 19 seconds into the game, and John Hopkins has just tied it up at one. There's Impala gets it over to Petramala. Petramala comes in. He's all alone by the defense of the last minute. A nice check there by number 22, Gary Gates, forced him to lose control. Gary Gates got the best grab check in lacrosse, and he made it work right there. Palem behind the net, got it away to his teammate. That's Gary Gates again with the ball. He plays the full length of the field, and this field, incidentally, is the full dimensions allowed in lacrosse, Tom. 110 yards long, 60 yards wide. Almost like a Canadian football league field. 
That ball bounced right off of Petromala. He did that so effectively yesterday against Carolina. You've got a shooter around him. He will not only play tough defense against you, he'll block the shot, saving Kesnick the problem. Gary Gate got it back for Syracuse. Out in front of Paul Gate. He winds up and scores. Paul Gate is Syracuse at 2-1 lead. This is the matchup I was really afraid for Hopkins because, again, Gary Gate's getting the attention. Paul Gate... There's not much difference between Paul and Gary. Gary just gets the press because of the alley-oop shot last year, the air gate shot. Here he is, wide open. Look at the soft defense on him. Dwan tries to slide over way too late. And when you've got the shot with the velocity of a Paul Gate time, you don't have to come in and get right on top of the goalie. You just crank up. You've got the full 36 square feet. You pick your corner, and he made it work. Burns fit him with a nice assist on that goal. Number 32 tries to get around his man. He's got a stick up around the neck and still gets the shot away. We're going to have a penalty. Well, he held him up there. You can see he got out of position. Kelly beat him. So rather than give it up, Scaramizamo, watch this. Rather than give it up, he got a step on him. Kelly got the step, so he's not going to give it up. Scaramizamo is right there, and he's going to hold him all the way, knowing that he'd rather have the extra man penalty than give him a good shot and goal that close. So Steve Scaramizino goes to the penalty box area. And the extra man attack for Hopkins, trailing 2-1. to one. National championship game of college lacrosse here on ESPN. Brendan Kelly thinks better of it. Gives back to John Sheehan. They're working it around. And score! The number 23, Mike Morrissey. 9-2. Morrissey's been a real sensational lift for this offense. Yesterday against Carolina, he had a big day. And he really has a good left-handed shot. Something that was not evident in the first game of the season. Let's take a look. All the room, the cushion they give him on the one side. He's got such a high shot now in confidence after being a freshman all year he'll take that shot something they didn't show in the first game I'm sure against Roy Simmons and Palem goes down a little unsettled that's a stop that on a hot day when he said Palem's going to make uh, Marcy got the better of him there you can see maybe a little bit different philosophy of how they approach this championship game and the day before the game the practice sessions by both teams Syracuse is out here for about an hour John Hopkins is out here almost the entire two hours a lot of two in a hot sun. Look up. Look out. Don't turn your back because now Sports Illustrated Video presents the official NBA Video Pack. It's a three-in-one video treat that you'll quickly see no one can beat. It's this one and that one and this one too. And you'll be amazed at what some of the people can do. Awesome Endings is the one that beats the buzzer and almost stops the clock. It's 45 minutes of last-second heroics that put more than just a few folks in shock. Barclay for three! It's memorable moments from playoffs past, right down to the shot that counts. You know, the one that's last. All the way up. Go! NBA Superstars is a dream come true. It's 45 minutes of Magic and Michael and the rest of the high-flying crew. And it's all set to music that's more than a little bit hot. So you'll be rocking and rolling while the superstars take their best shot. And then you better watch out and look to the sky because you never know who's going to fly right on by. It's the NBA's dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers. You'll see stars as they soar to the moon and often stay up there till way afternoon. And when they do finally fall to the floor, you'll be cheering for more and more. They may slip and slide and perhaps try to take your seat, but for 45 minutes you'll see a show that's impossible to beat. Call this number before it's too late because Sports Illustrated's NBA video pack is more than first rate. And now for the first First time you can enjoy these three drilling videos all at once for three monthly installments of only $14.95 each. And if you like to charge it, please have your credit card within reach. Awesome Endings is one we'll send for you to enjoy from beginning to end. And superstars will rock right along because it's awesome to music, perhaps even your favorite song. And of course, you've heard the rumors that the greatest of all may be dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers. You won't find all this action in your local store, so don't bother to look on the rack. Call now, because this is the only place you can get Sports Illustrated's NBA video pack. Call 1-800-392-2100 or write this address. You can charge it, so please have your credit card handy.